my brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to read to you this newsletter from Dawn uh, that came, let's see, is it today's, hold on a second while I lean in real close. It doesn't really matter. It's, uh, yeah, eight, 616 this morning it came in. All right. First one is Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Now listen to this. This this really uh, it, it it touched me because I've been begging the Lord to give me. I wanted like to hear from Him like I used to, you know, like like where I had to get up and get my notebook out and write it all down as He dictated it. Well, He doesn't always speak to us that way, clearly. <laughs> but that doesn't mean He's not speaking to you. So listen to this. I do not always speak to you in a still small voice. Pay attention to all the ways I communicate with you. It can be through your circumstances or an impression, a random thought, a check in your spirit, or inspiration. Stay alert and open to the leading of my spirit. This is what the scripture that was added is Psalm 37 verse 23 the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way I don't know what version that is this next one is a message that was given to Terry B not familiar with this person so with all messages if you don't know the person take it to the Lord for confirmation if you don't or you're not sure, if it, you know, if it doesn't sit right with your spirit, just, you can shelve it and wait for confirmation, or this may confirm, and it does confirm, what a lot of other messengers have already received. That's why I'm sharing it. All right. Sup with me and be still. I know that you are tarrying. That, 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 that was like, what do you mean by that, Lord? You are tarrying. He's speaking to Terry B. Speaking through her or him. Terry can be either boy or girl, guy or gal. He says, I know that you are tarrying. See, I always thought the Lord is tarrying. <laughs> Not us, you know. Anyway, he goes on to say, be still. Be with me and listen as I reveal my plan. There will be a tsunami engulfing the east as well as the west coasts of America. The enemy seeks to destroy, but my hand holds them back for now. Those, see, they've been trying to pummel that La Palma Canary Island with if you didn't you might have missed my video where i showed the grid the, all the earthquakes were happening in a grid pattern i mean like anybody could look at that and go well, that's man-made the man the powers that be are trying to make it happen it hasn't happened yet that was like saturday maybe here it is tuesday it still hasn't cracked off and broken in, falling into the ocean to cause the tsunami. All right, so back to this message. Uh, it says the enemy seeks to destroy, but my hand holds them back for now. Those who are righteous, be righteous still. Those who are not, judgment has come, and you will know who I am. See, that's the last book of Revelation. It says, those who are holy, be holy still. Those who are righteous, be righteous still. Those who are unholy, let him be unholy still. And there's a fourth one. That's like, those who are evil, let him continue to be evil or something like that. That's the very last book. All right, last chapter in the book of Revelation. He says, there is plenty to tell you, my dearest one. You are not to be fearful. I have you in the palm of my hand. No harm will come to you or your loved ones, says the Lord thy God. 
You must remain in me to endure, as I will guide you and speak through you in times. I think a word was left out there. Call on me. I will speak through you in times. Like maybe it should have said in times of trouble. In all times. And then comma. Call on me. Let us all call on him at all times. It goes on. Come my children. My little ones. Time is short. Time is here. Now. White stones. New names. Says the Lord. Oh, okay. I have to tug it up. Let me hurry up here. A new name says the Lord. Gird yourselves and do not grow weary. For I am gathering my lost sheep in this late hour. You are divine, my child. Chosen. I love you. Your Father in heaven. I am everlasting love. And the verse they put with it is John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Well, people need to understand that believeth means you believe in him to the point that you understand the sacrifice he made for you. You love him most. He said, Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. You can't just believe in him. You've got to commit to him and obey his word. Because even the demons believe in the name of Jesus and tremble when we use it and flee. Right? All right, moving on. Now, this one is uh, kind of specific for a certain person, and it might have been just for this person and it got shared anyway I will read it and if it pertains to somebody you know then maybe it will help you know how to handle them okay it is dated October 26 someone you know and have liked very much has succumbed to sin you do not want to pile on in the way others have turned against this one. But you also do not want to bless what they have done. Clearly, this is not referring to a medical decision, if you know what I mean. Maybe they're in an affair. Maybe they took a job in a bar and now they're drinking while they work. Some, some let them do that, you know. I don't know. He says, what do you do? You can continue to bless the person and not condone. You can continue to bless the person and not condone what they have done. So maybe it's a one-time sin. Pray that they will come to their senses. See, that tells me it's an ongoing if they, have, they need to come to their senses, pray that they will come to their senses and repent. Their character is much more important than what they do. So I'm not real sure about that one, but the verse put with it is 1 Corinthians 13.13. 13. And now abide belief, expectation, love. I don't know, this is a, one of them new versions. It's now by these three, faith, um, let me look it up. Wait. Why not blue letter Bible? 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And now by this, these three, 13, 13. And now abide as faith, hope, and charity, or love, these three. But the greatest of these is, it says charity in the KJV, it's love. People confuse charity with giving to the poor. It should say love. I'm going to click on tools. 
because I want to. Charity is G26. Group 26. It means love. Used 86 times as love. Charity, 28 times. Dear, one time. Dear? Would that be like my dear loved one? Charitab charitably, charitably. It's used with G2596 one time and Feast of Charity one time. So it means love. All right. Let's go back. All right. Some of these new versions, are, they're just so different. Anyway, this is the last one. And that was given to Bev Robinson. Have you turned in the wrong direction to ask for help? Have you turned to the world and what it has to offer? Have you put your trust in politicians or other leaders? Listen up, you Trumpers. Some of you are still Trumpers. I say to you, stop. Look to me as your source of help. The ways of the world will leave you unsatisfied. I have a plan. I am the Redeemer. The eternal ways of my kingdom will never disappoint or leave you without expectation. The verse put with this is Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9 in the NASB. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And that was given to Jonas Bowen. I love that. All right, so with that, I'm going to say bye for now, brothers and sisters. I pray all of you are going to be counted worthy to escape all these things that are going to come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man as part of his bride. Aren't y'all getting excited? I think the time is near, don't you? But I know Jesus is holding back what Satan is trying to accomplish. At La Palma and everywhere else. Alright, bye for now. Talk to you later.